Welcome to Jogress This Episode 14. I'm your your host, Peter. Uh Shaman is King. Uh, and then to my left I have Mike. Hey, what's up? This is your boy Mike, also known as also known as Aimless. And to my right, I got the longest intro in the game. Go ahead, Marcus. What is up? My name is Marcus King, underscore level 100, a.k.a. Double, a.k.a. Triple, a.k.a. Mr. Uh, War. What is happening? <laughs> what? Oh, Was that it? <laughs> He just abruptly like, cut off. I'm just like, wait, that's it? Oh, you hear the quacks? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's what I was trying to make. You mother. <laughs> okay, I'm done. Um, so we're just going to talk a little bit about the jank, locals jank tournament we had, which was pretty fun. Um, we had a big turnout, which our turnouts are getting bigger and bigger, which is cool, especially because those Brownsville guys are showing up, which is cool. More competition is good. Um, yep. Then we got uh, we talk a little bit about BT14 decks, see which is gonna be kind of good. What well, we think will be kind of good or good, and then a super quick review of EX5 because I I know what the it's in the, what's in there, just didn't really read all the cards yet. But I'm not trying to read uh, every I'm single the, card. I'm the only one who knows what's in there. <laughs> <laughs> um. So yeah, we can start off with the Jank tournament. How did y'all feel about it this past weekend? Who wants to go first? Mike, what did you play? Oh my gosh. Um <laughs> The Grumon? The other level six from Alpha Mon line. Yeah, they're Alpha Mon line. Yeah. What did, um what'd you go against? My first matchup was against Oh my gosh, what's the name of the Dabor Mon. Um I won the first game. Lost the second. Thought I would have won the third, but he dropped Armored Getting Mon on me that has Rush and he won. Yeah, saw that. Um, second game, I played against uh, the Poop deck. Uh, again, I won the first match, lost the other two. Damn, it was a trend. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> What about your last uh, one? Huh? What about your final matchup? It was three rounds, right? No, it was four rounds. No, there was four. Four. So my third matchup, I played against the Kuyamon. Um, won the first round, lost the second, won the third. Then my last matchup was against Gallantmon. Um, I remember that, what I, you said. Yeah, I lost the. F I won the first round and lost the other two. Uh, Marcus, what did you play? I played my Osman. How are your matchups? What did you play? Oh, they were rough. Um, uh, I played Justice Mon. I played. Hmm. Hey, Angel, how you doing, man? Justice Mon. Who else did you play against? Damn, I don't even. I don't even know your matchups. I can't remember my own matchups. <laughs> wow! <laughs> wow, Marcus! <laughs> wow, dude! It's because I went own four. You didn't take. I can't a, remember my matchups. Did you win? Did you even listen, win a, like a, a game in their match? One game, just one game. Do you remember what it was against? Like a Justice Mon game two. Oh, <laughs> damn. Um, I don't know. Oh, no, was... no, no, that's not Jank. Oh, like, wait, wait. I picked that in the beginning before the tournament. Yeah, I didn't pay attention to who you played against, so I don't know who you play. What you played against? Did you play Gallimon? Uh, not Gallimon. Did you play the Tyranno Green Hybrid? No. Uh, I can't think of who else. Angel says this jank week play. was a bit more interesting for me Are than the others. I played Brownsville. Huh? 
I played three Brownsville, one hard. Oh, so you played? Oh, you had to play the guy who played the Green Hybrid then. Green Hybrid, Justmon, oh. Diabora, and Sequiamon. Those are the Brownsville decks. Sequiamon. Yes. I didn't play Green Hybrid. No, oh, so you played Diabora. Not Diabora. Uh. What? I. You said you played three Brownsville, and I listed all three decks, or all four decks. Yeah. Maybe you played two Brownsville, and you played two Hard Engine. Did you play Frank? Mm -hmm. Didn't you play Frank or no? Well, yeah, right. uh, Marcus doesn't remember. Um. <laughs> And I ended up playing Blue Hybrid for Jank. And that was the first time I ever got to pilot the deck like that. And uh, it was fun. Here's my list of my, I guess you can call it, for the Jank tournament. I don't consider this. It's like top tier for Jank decks. Uh, uh, go ahead, Mike. I can't agree. Yeah, it's, it's very good. Yeah, it's it was as smooth as butter, dude. It felt really nice. Like I had, I was just stripping people and like trashing their sources and and a lot of those jank decks that I went against because I think I went against um, I went against Frank's uh, Sukumon, like too old, pretty easily because I was just bouncing his stuff back. Um. Second round was against Green Hybrid. That was 2 1. That one was a fun match. That was a very fun match. Game one, he courts me, and so I couldn't do anything. There's nothing in Blue Hybrid that can get over anything. So, uh, Third match was Diabora. I 2 0 Uh, The first match was fun, but I kept stripping sources, so I. Didn't let him have fun, which sucks. I feel bad. <laughs> um, in second game, he he bricked super hard. He didn't. He did not draw anything. So it was just nothing but level level fives he was hitting. Um, and the last match was against Justimon, and I tooled that one. I got saved by security with Hammer Spark. He could have won game one. But when he swung security, he was at one memory. It went over. It passed over to two, or it passed over to my side. And then I had Sora Joe, so I go to three. I just needed hybrid for win. And that was it. Nice. So that that was my matchup. And when Tommy is unbanned by next what Sunday? Uh, no, two weeks. Unrestricted. Two weeks. Yeah, next Sunday. It's right. It's when tournament starts. No, like November seventeenth. No, that's pre release. November twelfth. Oh, it's November twelfth. Fuck. It, the <laughs> restriction list is the seventeenth. Yeah, the day of the release of BT fourteen. Yeah. <sighs> okay, I still gotta wait. I think the changes I would make real quick would be dropping Koji to one, Tommy up to <sighs> dropping Koji to one, dropping Davis to two, bumping up Co De Tommy to four. Uh. And I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's about it. I mean, I like the Magna Guru mods. It was pretty cool. I would, I don't, I wouldn't mind switching them around to other level fours. I would want to add four Sorais. That would make the deck even more annoying. But I don't know okay. where what to drop. Um, but that's about it for the list. That uh, things I would change about the deck. It's I'm gonna have fun with it. When it's ready to go, when it's a full power, I think I could already have fun with it now and probably compete against some people. Yep. Uh, any thoughts on decks for BT fourteen for you guys? Wait, huh? Fourteen? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. What uh, go, Marcus. What we <laughs> think would be like pretty good, decent. The for deck Jank is or oh no, just for in general, like. What are you most excited for? You know, Marks, what are you most excited for on BT14? Go. I already know. 
Are you going to restrict me of <laughs> War Green or something else? No. You can say War Green. Okay, War Green. But why? I finally get to make a new deck out of it. Is it really a new deck? Yes. <laughs> yeah, you can go last week. Because it's like I have two choices here now that I think about it. Work is for I real? Really I can finally change it besides X antibodies. Aren't you just changing yeah, the level fives? I mean, the threes? And then, like, maybe. The level threes, the level fours, the level five. Oh my gosh. Marcus, that BT14 Greymon is not it. I will make it happen. You have to swing with it to get the memory. I will make it the happen. The other one gives you the memory just by digivolving. I will make it happen. Just let it happen. Okay, when he swings and loses his Greymon and has to restart his stack again, I'll let it happen. Uh, the deck is annoying. Are you talking about Blue Hybrid, LJ? My bad. <laughs> And then Angel said, I don't believe that. And it's just War Gray. Yeah. Marcus. And I guess there's some option cards with the Greymon. I kind of like it. Coming out of BT14, Mega Flames at four costs. I can delete a opponent's 6,000 or less. The fuck? And then if you have a Greymon in name, delete another Digimon with the lowest DP instead. Oh, so I thought you were going to say something else. Wait, what? It uh, deletes the lowest DP? Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, it? at least one of the opponent's Digimon with 6k DP or less. And if you have a Digimon with Greymon in its name, delete one of your opponent's Digimon with the lowest DP instead. Oh, oh okay. So instead of the 6,000, say there's a bigger body that's only one in, that's one on the board, and then you can just pop it. Hey, Sean can use this. Cool. Fuck you, Marcus. Marcus? Oh, <laughs> Yeah, Mega hey, Flame. Uh, Mega Flame seems pretty cool. The Dragon of Courage four cost uh, yeah. effect when while you have a tamer with tie and name, ignore the color requirements. Main effect by placing one Greymon and one Metal Greymon from your trash as one of your Agumon's bottom Digivolution cards. That Digimon might Digivolve into War Greymon from your hand without playing the cost, ignoring the re- Digivolution qu- requirements. Yeah, that's a good card. Without paying the cost, I didn't notice that. Yep. Yeah, what security. The? You may play one Agumon from your hand or trash without playing the cost. Then add this card to your hand. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> my, Marcus. Yeah, I'm gonna warp. Marcus, great one already is like kind of tight, isn't it? Yes, but I need that in it. But so if it's a deep warp, I want it. Like I, this card. See, uh, since I don't play more gray. I can see myself building a deck that just abuses this card. <sighs> okay. You you put it. Uh, it can help you with uh, Black War X as well. Yeah. You can put this in an all black deck, in a black on um, War Greymon deck. It just it just says. Uh, that Digimon may digivolve into parentheses War Green. Yeah. In okay. Your, in your hand without playing the cost. So it's like pay four? Yep. <laughs> I guess real quick for me, it would be like uh, the new Joe Tamer. Can probably maybe try to fit that in there somewhere for Blue Hybrid. Getting memory oh, every, every time I trash something. Yeah. But you're doing that, that Joe constantly. Tamer is good. Uh, and then also the uh, card Marching Fishes. Fishies. So we're doing one card. Uh, I'm just talking about like a quick thing. Of, uh, oh yeah, okay. Never mind the deck. The deck I'm excited for for BT14. My bad is um not Greymon. It's probably gonna be Blue Hybrid and Lugumon. I, I want to play Lugumon. Interesting. Interesting. I thought you were gonna say fishes, but okay. Oh no, fishes is there, but it's gonna be jank. So <laughs> I'm gonna play fishies for jank. Oh, okay. So for me, uh, it's like nothing really I want to play in here. Uh, I guess the vaccine stuff that's coming out. Um, Mervamon since it gets new level threes and level fours. 
that helps the whole strategy. Mm -hmm. But one card I am excited about is Golmon. Golmon to help with to help with milk on uh, Lilith Mill. Yeah. Man, I really want Golmon, dude. The alts are so bad. Sorry. So it's for those who don't know. It says when Digivolving. When attacking and once per turn, for every ten cards in your trash, trash the top three cards of your opponent's deck. When attacking, once per turn, if your opponent has ten or more cards in their trash, this Digimon gains a, a security attack plus one. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Honestly, dude. Also in um, the new. Uh, for 14 also, like, just going back at it, the Gomamon is probably another one I'd be excited for. You kind of don't play the war warping option. You don't have the space for it. That's what I have wife who, wife, I have a wife says for the Greymon deck. That's what I was saying. Like, the Greymon's kind of tight. I don't know how you fit that in there. Like, you're not going to be able to play. That means you got to try to get rid of your Trident Iron Marcus. Or you got to get rid of one of your Tamers. Uh, you're not going to get rid of your X-Antibodies. You're gonna my memory boost. your training cards are gonna take over your memory boost slots. Oh. You don't really have space, Marcus, unless you drop every level in that deck down by like two or one. I'm probably, I'm probably dropping the Ward Ray X. You know, I, don't know. I never have my deck set up some certain way. I have Bro. a deck builder. I need to see it again. You already don't play Trident Arm because you need space for training cards. Yeah. I made space for one, but yeah, for sure when training cards come out, I need to... A... <sighs> so that's like one card I want to abuse. I'm going to find a way to do it. And it's a green card. What is it? Poison, I Poison Ivy. One of your opponent's Digimon gains all turns. This Digimon becomes suspended. Loose. One of your opponents. Oh, because you do suspend a lot, right? Because, uh... Yeah. So, yeah. I want to use this in rabbits, too. Thanks, Mike. And it makes quartz cheaper. Lame. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even oh, think about that, yeah. Because I already play one option in, in um... Well, the, the option I play is the the bunny one, the two cost where you suspend your opponent's Digimon, you get piercing, blah blah blah. Yeah. But this one's pretty nice too. But sometimes you already get piercing in the deck. I want to play Angimon. Machine Digimon isn't much of an issue for the deck since it's not seeing play. True. Not yet, I don't want Uh, okay. We just wanted to run through a quick fourteen. Uh, let's just jump to EX five. I feel, hey, I feel like we can jump to we can like talk about fourteen for a while. Uh, hey, my, my favorite set, Marcus. Real quick, what's the deck you're excited to play here? I am going to play. Do you want to do the sure. the the new Jogress deck? Wait, I think. Huh? I thought Marcus wanted to play the new Jogress deck from EX Five. What? That's a new job. Oh, oh that. Yeah. The Apollo one? That. I was like, what the fuck? When he can use in two, it's pretty nice. Yeah. All the green stuff is nice. I play the Sovereigns, but I'm trying to decide which of the Sovereigns, because they have... Sovereigns, de Divas, or Deva? Yeah, for each one. Uh, I mean, don't you just play the best ones in there? That's pretty much it. Yeah, you do. Yeah, it's kind of like... A toolboxy type of deck, I think, Marcus. Like you just yeah. pick the best, like what fits, I guess, for you. But I think there's some better than others. Cause uh, what does Injurmon do? On play, draw a card. What is this one? On play. Oh, they all do one play, draw a card. But I know they all do different things. Insecurity yeah, plus cards to go to. I guess the color requirements. Undulation. That's stupid. Um, I mean, this one pops. Okay, out of the red divas, I think 
I'm gonna say Injurmon is better because I think you want to draw cards. He was pretty strong. Rogue, you play them all in the all in the deck. Yeah, X five. All that's good there is Anubis and Guru Engine. Hey, yeah, yo, that's I true. Took, I take offense <laughs> to that. Yeah, Mark is like if you look at all the red diva, the red ones, right? You see the reds? Yeah. I think Injurmon is the best one out of them. Because you get the lead draw card. I mean, with the other ones, you can... one The snake-looking one, you can pop a 5k or lower. The other one, you just get a memory if your opponent has a memory. What I find fun about that deck is that it's actually doing things in Japan. <laughs> yeah. I saw it. it. It's approximately doing things in Japan. It's like, the heck? And all the, all the, all the level 6s for the Divas are all ace cards, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. That one, that was I didn't really come, like look a lot at. Like I was just not paying attention. But there's a monkey. Like this, this so, one's pretty good too. When it swings, you trash one, the bottom Digi Luchi card of one of your opponent's Digimon. And that one is uh, Antilamon. I think you would definitely run the Biomon Ace because it has on the opponent's turn, once per turn, when your security is checked. If that Digimon is a card with dev in its trait, play it without battling and without paying the cost. Well, what color is he? Biomon, black and yellow. Where are you? There you are. Oh, okay. Um, put in turn, one of your security is checked. If that card is a Digimon card with Diva in trait, play it. Ah. Huh. Not bad. Sounds cool. There we go. And then also we get the new uh, effect as well. Fortitude. Yeah, so... Oh, isn't that like the, the new green line or is that yellow? Yeah, that's what green. <laughs> what the hell is Fortitude? Uh, it have... basically comes back. Yeah, if you have it Digimon comes... cards, you can replay Digimon without playing the cost <sighs> even if it's deleted. Why can't yeah. they just make Leomon... Blue, dude. So I can play all the on deletion Leo mods. So, aside from the obvious decks, as someone said, Anubis Mon stuff and Melga stuff. Mm -hmm. Uh, you where is it? I'm looking for the. Yeah, I'm looking forward to Metal Mon for security control. Where color is that one? Yellow. Yellow. Edamon? Six. Uh, the dragon looking thing. Oh, yeah. When and Digivolve and when. The... Talking about Metal Edamon? Yeah. Oh. Suka Poop Dexter! Oh, I forgot about that keyword. Didn't do anything. <laughs> but yeah, sorry. Security control gets new stuff because. The new level six, you can play a level four lower card from your hand without paying the cost. And the Digimon are played by this effect games rough. By you, you play this by trashing the top card security stack. You said that was so yellow. Like, yeah. The Metamon? Oh, that one. Okay. Yes. Security control is boring, Mike. Hey, this is for Cantalmon, okay? Boring to watch. Boring to play. This is for this is for Cantalmon. Boring to play against. Ooh. <laughs> wow. Just talking about it, dude. Yeah. Makes me yawn. Wow. I mean, you, that's right. That, it's true, but... That's what I think about it. <laughs> but, yeah, it sounds from Mar Marvelmon. <laughs> I'm looking forward to the Leo Mon stuff. Yeah, it looks cool. I just wish he was blue green, so I could play the other Leo Mon stuff. But whatever. You can still play the you can still play the other stuff. True. I want to play Grace. Yeah, because I mean, I know Bobby wants to play Grace too. Grace, what the hell is that? The new um, the Moon and Sun thing. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. I think I'm gonna play with that too. Just whatever I get pieces of it. I'm sure the deck's not gonna be crazy expensive or anything. Like I like the alt art. 
Damn, where the hell? Is... There he is. This one, Grace Nova. Yeah, he looks like a Gundam. It's okay. Mike played Guru. Guru, he knows boring. Wait, what? <laughs> He's it's, fired. It's okay. Mike played yeah. Guru. He knows boring. Yeah. <laughs> Grace Nova. Uh. Eh, I mean, I'm gonna just get it because it's cool, cool looking. That's why I'll build it. But will I play it? No. I'm gonna get my four copies of Leopard Mart X Antibody. Leopard Mart, Leopard, Leopard Mart X Antibody. Yeah. Hey, it's for you, Angel. I'm not playing Leopard Mart, so. I'll build right. Grace so I can finally have a Jogress deck. You can Jogress this. Hey yo! <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh, you're lame, Marcus. Wait, who did the jump? That was me. Yeah, you're lame. <laughs> uh, Leopard Mine, when did you obby? Once main and once per turn. You may play one green Digimon card from your hand without the play, uh, with the play cost reduced by four. If a card with Leopard Mine is a name or X anybody is in this Digimon's Geolution cards, reduce. Damn, some reduce of seven? Okay. Your turn once per turn, one of your Digimon is played. You may return one of your opponent's 5k or lower Digimon to the hand for each of your other Digimon at 3k. Oh, that's going to be annoying. You know what's going to be annoying too? What? Uh, the Lev the Levamon and the Bite Ink Brush. Where's that? Purple. Level. Second page. Yeah, I'm here, but was it level three? Biting truck. No, the the Digimon is level six. The seven Demon Lord. Oh, the Vimon. Yeah, and the option card is stupid. What's the Digimon next to Leopardmon? Next, anybody? Yeah, it's just a fortitude card, new thing. But yeah, I'll show like, you right now, option. Angel. Uh, Leviathan. Yeah, isn't this like a pretty decent OTK type of deck? So from what I'm seeing, a lot of people check it in because Bite and Crush, when it has like all turns delay effect, when a effect plays an opponent's plays an opponent's Digimon, you can play a Leviathan from your trash without paying the cost. What the heck? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's cool. So basically, you just run the like a one of, and then just play four of the option. That's pretty cool. Hmm. Doesn't he get an X anybody later? Yes, in fifteen. Fifteen. Okay. All right, here you go, my uh, angel. It's fortitude. When this Digimon Digimon card gets deleted, play this card without paying the cost. So pretty much. If it dies, it comes back without its uh, sources. On play, when Digimon reveal the top card of your deck, if that card is level 5 or lower Digimon with Fortitude, play it without paying the cost. Add the rest of the hand. Your turn, all your Digimon Fortitude and no Digivolution cards gain Rush. That's it. That's pretty much all the Leomon stuff, I think, right? Uh, Besides the level 3... It's Jank. The love so you Leo oh wait Leomon or Leopardmon? No, no, the Fortitude stuff. Oh. Uh, yeah, that's just. But hey, Leomon gets a searcher now. True. The the little Lyle Lyle it, ah, whatever the frick you want to yeah. call it. And it's a hairboard too. But yeah, that's yeah. all this is Fortitude stuff right here, man. All the green is Fortitude. Oh, except for the diva stuff. Yeah. But yeah, all this stuff is it's pretty much gonna be a jank deck. Um what else is here? Uh the Sukumon stuff I kinda wanted to look at, to be honest. Chumon. Uh it needs sources to come back, so fishes and blue hybrid can just shut it down. True. Yep. I can't wait to play blue hybrid and fishies. Be my favorite. Uh, <laughs> I'm about to turn into a blue player. 
Uh, if it's your opponent's turn, reveal the top three cards of your deck. You may play one Digimon Sukumon in its name. Among Ooh, you can play the freaking D Digivolving Suka from there. From that, that's cool. Uh, cool. All right, it has the same effect as the other two ones. That's good. What does this target mon do? On deletion by trashing one card with Edamon or Sukumon in its name in your hand, return this card to your hand. And it's a blocker. And this card. Huh. Uh, it's a cool level three. I mean, you get a. Um, yeah, it reminds me of like a Yu Gi Oh effect. Like, oh, it dies. I just stretch a card, it comes back to hand. Edamon. What is the new Edamon? Isn't this the security Edamon? No, it's not it. I thought we got a security Edamon. I thought so too. I think it's a like BT14. It probably is, and I didn't look at it. What is EX5? Until the end of your opponent's turn, one of your opponent's turn, one gets my 3k, sorry, main face. Dude. Until the end of your opponent's turn. Huh. That's cool. So it forces an attack. We gotta add him on that. Oh, fuck. Look at shot one. Oh, it forces. It forces an attack, and make, if you use the one Sukumon that turns something to a poop thing or whatever. Yeah. Oh, no, the one that big gauge evolves, that's a blocker. Yeah, that'd be dumb. They're annoying. Yeah. That's on play. So, and you with the new Edamon, I think from BT14, you could just play this. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be cool. You oh. the new Edamon from BT, from EX5 too. Yeah, the middle item one. Yeah. I don't know how good this one Because you want to keep the king. Because the king is pretty good. What does this one do? Delete one of your opponent's play costs. Play costs of three or lower or tamers. Oh, that's cool. For each card with Edamon or Sukumon in name in your trash, add one. To oh, oh. Trash. Dis tamer destruction. Delete one of your opponent's play costs three or lower. For each card with Edamon, Sukuman, Sukumon in the name and trash, add one to the maximum play costs you can choose. And what, the majority of tamers are like four to five, so if I already have one of two Sukas in my trash, I can pop a five cost tamer? Yes. Nice. How is this, how is this still jank? What are you talking about? The poop deck? Ah! I mean, it can be a little better, but I think it's just not fast enough yet. Yeah, it's not. That's the whole issue with the game right now. Everything's fast as heck, dude. If you're not fast, you losing. Mm-hmm. Uh, opponent's turn. That's what, I guess that's kind of what makes Jank a little bit more Jank, because, like, you have to set up more to do stuff. That's why I think, like, I can't ever play Blue Hybrid and Jink. It felt like too strong for Jink. I think we can ban that shit out. I'm saving for that card right now. I'm banning. I'll ban. I'll, I won't ever touch that deck and Jink. That's that's not fair. It, it felt too strong. I felt like overpowered. I did almost lose a couple games though. It's just like it was not fun because, in my opinion, I felt like I wasn't letting the other Jink decks have fun because I was just taking away stuff. So it sucks. So I was like, no. Not fair, not playing this for drink ever again. Even though it's nerfed right now, it's still it's still strong. I don't care. It's still too strong for meta or for drink. I have a statement for that card. What card? Or your deck. What's the statement? Um, that motherfucker. That motherfucker back there is not real. <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding me, Marcus? Oh, oh, clearly he said that. Uh, <laughs> uh, is there any other things in here that y'all are like interested in? What about the new X antibody? What y'all think about that card? It's good. Have you seen the altar for it? Oh my god! The altar is nice. There's an altar. What does it look like? <laughs> oh damn, that looks nice. I like. Speaking of all arts, favorite all art. Oh yeah, let's do that. Pick your top two favorite alt arts. Uh, Marcus, go first. Hey. Two favorite alt arts from the set. Grace. 
Grace. Grace. Grace. Oh, Grace Nova. Okay. Hybrid can definitely come back, gets super shut down by Hades, and just overall more uh, aggressive decks like Shine. Yeah, for sure, dude. Heck yeah, for sure. Still, I still think it's still is too strong for Jank, so I'll probably have to get it out of there. Uh, I guess the uh, X anybody. Grace? Melga. Wow. Melga? X anybody Melga? That one's sick. That one, is, that one is dope. I respect uh, that. Okay. You want me to go next, Mike? Sure. I know my, one of my favorite cards for sure out of the alt arts. Oh, shoot. Went too far back. <sighs> ah, fuck. What am I doing? Where's he at? Oh, I'm in the wrong set. <laughs> um, I like the Metal Edelman. Yes, it does. I enjoy that alt art very much. And <sighs> I like the Metal Guru on Marcus, like I do. It's cool. But I do like the Bench I want a little bit more. Just I just think uh, he looks he looks sick. He looks badass. Yeah, that's amazing art. I love this art. It's so pretty. Like, I just want it. I just want it. Uh, yeah. Oops. I said Diana and Apollo. Leopardmon X and Grace Nova. What Apollo is nice too. I didn't, did I even... I skipped it, didn't I? I did. Apollo yeah, does Apollo. look sick. He's like a damn god. <laughs> and Diana. She's cool too. She's a freak... I don't, I don't like Diana's old art. She has a stripper pole. <laughs> what, what about you, Mike? What are your favorite alt arts in here? Uh, um, Angel's I had to give it to my, I had to give it to my crocodile boy. Leopard Mon? The Levi Gantan. Which one? Oh, oh, uh, Levi, Levi Mon? Le, 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 Levi, yeah. I like Ooh. these. I like these artworks. Dude. They look cool. I love this alt art so much. It's cool. It's like I might have to get a playset set of it. Yeah, and when it's cheap. And my second one is a toss up between like three different choices. <laughs> but if I have not to pick a purple one, it will have to be the Chronomon. For second page, the level three. Is that the red one? Yeah. Corona mon. Mexican beer mon. It's besides Fang. It's besides Fang Long. It's besides the Fang Long mon. Uh, this one is so. Oh, looks so pretty. Fuck. <laughs> Just because all the other Digimon behind it. If it was by itself, I wouldn't say that. But it, the way it looks like this, with all those Digimon back there, it looks cool. I like it. Good alt art. What does the blue one look like? Ooh. Oh, just because of Gaiomon. And Devimon. Devimon's cool. Uh, I think that's... Oh, I mean, I already know these Tamers do stuff together, right? For the whole Jogress. The new stuff. The new deck. Wait, there's tamers in this set. Oh, yes, yeah, just for the deck. Uh, what do yeah. you what do you feel about how do you feel about the Cerebrus uh, Cerebrus X? Who me? You, yeah, you're the one that's purple player over here. Oh, I, 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 <laughs> I love the whole line. I am ready for. <laughs> that's gonna be cool. This is gonna be my one deck that I play a lot. Yeah, purple's back. Uh, Anubis Mon, I, dude. I I, I kind of like the regular Anubis Mon better than the alt art one. I like the alt art one. I mean, but because of the digi egg. I mean, yeah, it's cool, but I don't know what it is. I feel like I enjoy the the regular art over this one. I mean, it's cool. The, the regular art 
I say in this set, one regular art that I actually like a lot is Loader Leomon. I know I saw him somewhere. There On the is. first page? Because of the story that it, tell, that it tells in the artwork. Heavy Leomon, dude. Oh, Loaded Leomon. Yeah, you see all you see the Agumon, the Betamon, the yeah. And then they show up in the level six as well. You said Loaded Leomon? Oh, first page. You said first page. Yeah. So if you look Got at the that. artwork. You see the three baby Digimon, and then in the level six, you see them all in their mega forms. Oh, that's cool. War Gray, yeah. Old Force and, and Me even Mega Siege. And in the level four, you see the eggs, for the egg form. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Go back to it again, Peter. Leomon? Or Liamon? Yes. Look at it underneath his paw. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's dope. I didn't even notice that. That's cool. Yeah, so you see the whole yeah. Damn I it. I like that touch. Leomon. <laughs> I mean, this feels like a shorter episode than normal, but I mean, I mean that's good. Yeah, I mean You know, people have short attention spans. That's pretty much it's, everything. I mean, I don't, for video. Well, next Catch week we'll do the uh, the whole prediction of what we think the tier list looks like, or the meta will shape up to in fourteen. Yeah, at least for us, because it's like we can talk about how it's shaping up in Japan, but and it's always different. Seen, yeah, we're not seeing how it's different than here, because like with the whole shine thing, Sean was dominating Japan, but. Over here, it didn't really dominate at all. Shut up, Mike. Hey, hey, hey. hey, hey, hey. <laughs> um, I refuse to join the dark side and play that damn deck. I mean, you you play Warbury. How dare you? <laughs> How dare you, Mike? I play Black War, not that trash orange one. Okay. Don't bring up Black War. This is a war gray card. No, here. Black War, not War Gray. F that guy. Uh, I mean, I. Uh, one more topic before we ride out. Yeah. Um, for those who've seen the spoilers, three colored digi colored three colored Digimon. Y'all thoughts on it? Hmm. Ah, Marcus, was it you or Frank that I spoke about this with? I know, Frank, you just spoke about this too as well. I freaking said something about it. I'm like, wouldn't it be cool if Digimon freaking bust out three colors? Man, oh no, it was Frank. It was Frank when I spoke to this about. Because I told him, like, three colors would be dope. And it would open up the game a bit more. Ah. I just, I'm cool with it. Just oh, don't fucking break the game. Well, I'm just gonna come back now. I'm, 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 I'm impartial to it. I think it's too soon, especially because we still have dual color combinations that we haven't explored yet. Mm -hmm. So I wish they had did more with that. But I understand why they did it. It's to hype up the movie more. Oh, that's because that's who knows if that's even the only three color Digimon in the damn list it hasn't popped any nothing has popped out for it yet. So I think since it's one of the secrets, I think fighter mode is gonna be in the other secret. You think fighter mode? Yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be fighter mode, probably a three color. Yeah, I think fire, I think the I think the secrets are gonna be the three colors. I feel like they splash black and everything. Watch. No, watch. Fire them be white. Fire them be green, blue, and yellow. Or he could be purple to be a part of the other Imperial list. Or red. Or red. Or red. 
I, he's either going to be green, blue, red, or green, blue, purple. Because I feel like they got to match it with the other Imperial deck that's not getting any love. <laughs> yeah, it it won't be just it won't have the same colors as Madna. Nah, no way. Um, yeah, I mean it's gonna be cool, cool to see something different, but it's a long ways away. Not until like next year, right? Yeah, for yeah, we got a while till we see that. We still gotta go through this set, EX Five, the Apocalypse meta, pretty much. That's what it is called. Until they hit it. And the advanced deck. The advanced deck. Can't wait for that one. Everyone loving that uh, rapid mon right now. And then we get 16. And we also don't even know what other releases we'll, we'll have next year either. So maybe a new, another, another two structure decks. I feel like if they're going to do the ace, they're probably going to go to Adventure 2 next. For what? Where does Digimon go from here, though? Then they then they post something about like a new Digimon. Yeah, I mean Digimon still has a lot of material to work with. If you count in all the games. Yeah. And the uh, web novels. Like Seekers is still ongoing. And I think people are talking about there might be more machine Digimon support in the future. Oh god. Because something that's happening in Seekers right now. They did reveal a new Digimon though. Uh, for a new show oh, yeah. or a new manga or a new game, something like from, that. From what it looks like, I think I know a lot of people think it's a client, like a game client. I, I think it might be an animated card game series. I just want a new anime for Digimon. I love Digimon. I think it's going to be an animated card game series. That'd be pretty cool. Um, and then for now we have that other website to play Digimon on, but come on, Digimon, give us, give us your official one, bro. Come on. Right. I'm still waiting for the remaster. Oh, are you talking about the other, the Digimon game? Oh, I thought you were talking about that. No, not the MMO. So because, I'm talking about the card game. <laughs> oh, so the only yeah. reason why I say it is say going to be a, like an anime card game. Because on the, on the, when you go to the page for it. Mm-hmm. It says new Digimon card game pro- project. So we know it's dealing with the card game itself. Yeah, it'll probably be the set for that Digimon. Uh, but plus something, you know, there has to be something. Yeah. All right. Well, I don't have any other topics. Do you guys have anything else to say? Nope. I'm nope. tired. Marcus? Great one sucks. No, but Mike, if you ever say that <laughs> thing again, I will you up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I guess that wraps it up for Jogress this episode 14. I hope you all have a good night and or morning whenever you guys watch this or afternoon. I got to throw them on there. And again, we will be back most likely next week for uh what we think will be good for nbt 14 which probably some of the same decks but who knows well there's gonna be some new stuff um yeah that's about it and have a happy halloween have a good night